Yeah, Nate, Nate Diaz, Diaz, Bruce Buffer. Yeah, he's beefing with Bruce. He get I guess uh, they had asked Bruce Buffer, um, or no, Bruce Buffer has just chimed in, and uh, Nate Diaz obviously has had his issues with the UFC and Dana White, and you know Nate plays the Diaz brother role and he talks shit and blah blah blah. I'm not fighting. I am fighting. Sure, I don't even pay attention anymore at this point. I'm like, that's what they do. They like to make a lot of noise, and I love them. I'm fans of them. But hey, Bruce, hey, hey, can I? Well, hold on. We'll get to Bruce in a second. All right, no, let, let, let's go with Bruce. I was just going to say, I love the Diaz brothers. Of course, I love to watch them fight. They're awesome fighters. They're a lot of fun. But the tantrums, man, the tantrums yeah. have got to stop. I mean, he's there for his press conference, Nate Diaz, Dustin Poirier. And at the end of it, Dana announces Connor versus Khabib. And Nate swans off, storms out of the building because... It took the shine of his big moment. You know, it's like, come on, you got to deal with it, buddy. Listen, yeah. I'm not knocking Nate Diaz. He's awesome. He, you know, he's a he's a straight up G, bro. But um, that, you know, come on, get a grip. So this is what uh, this is what Buffer said when asked about Nate. He said, "I love Nate, but he's always got a bad taste in his mouth." Um, Nate, I heard you made seven million or more or more in your last fight. I don't want to hear you complaining about being underpromoted by the UFC. You should be thanking the UFC and bowing to Dana White every time you see him. Um, him and Ari Emanuel, Patrick White, White sell. You've got seven million or more dollars gross before taxes, maybe much more, which I love knowing that you have. Nate, please, I don't want to hear any more. So he, you know, strong words for Nate Diaz, and then Nate Diaz went all fucking Nate Diaz. <laughs> and what did uh, Nate what did he say? Harrington pull up the uh, or send me the uh, the quote right there. Uh, so, all right, so this is what Nate tweeted, right? Yeah. So he tweeted, Bruce Buffer, what the fuck? Get off the UFC's nuts. You're bowing down right now telling me to bow down. Fuck that. You keep bowing down. I bow down to no one ever for all the money in the world. Okay. I Just, agree with you know. Bruce. I agree with Bruce. I well, agree with you Bruce know what? Buffer. You know what? You know who doesn't agree with Bruce? You. Bruce doesn't agree with Bruce. Nate Diaz. No, Bruce doesn't agree with Bruce because when pressed on it for a fucking second. No, I know. I know. I know. Bruce I know. He Buffer buckled like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't buckle like a bitch. Read out Bruce's rebuttal. Here, I got it right here. With all with all respect, Nate, that is not what I meant by saying the word bow, quote unquote. I meant it as a sign of respect as in when greeting someone, not a sign of submission, as I'd never expect you to do that for anyone at Nate Diaz 209. Yeah, what's That's wrong with bad. that? That's not I bad. listen. Yeah, of course it is. Listen, <laughs> here's the thing. I'm sorry, but if it wasn't for the UFC, Nate Diaz, we wouldn't be talking about him right now. Of course, right? He made We're a lot of him. money in those couple of fights. He's made millions of dollars. You know, so maybe Bruce could have chose his words a little differently. Maybe not bow down. But he should have been like, listen, come on, stop playing the victim. You've done very well out of the of UFC. Of course, that's partly, well, not partly, primarily, almost 100% down to Nate Diaz, his fighting ability, his reputation, his attitude that people love. That's why he's a star. But it takes two to tango. You need a promotion. And they gave Nate the Connor fight. He made a ton of money. Now, Nate earned himself that rematch because he beat Connor when he wasn't supposed to. And, but again, he made a ton of money for it. So I think what Bruce was trying to say, listen, stop being the victim all the time. There's no mm. need to be a victim. Yeah, he could have chose his words a little differently. Respect to Nate Diaz for going right back at him. That's what we would expect from Nate Diaz. That's why we love him. But um, as I say, Br Bruce could have worded it a little differently, but I do understand what he's saying. Yeah, well, here's it. You know, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. And I've said for a very, very long time, the UFC, those three letters, they're so valuable because anybody on the roster, including Connor, including Brock, including anybody, if they're not fighting for the UFC, they're not going to be taken seriously. This is just a fact. You know, we watch other wrestlers go into other promotions that had big names and it didn't mean shit. You know, Brock Lesnar, it, it was a combination. It's a dance. And in my opinion, the UFC leads the dance with everybody, including Connor. If you would have had Connor coming up through Bellator, nobody would give a fuck. Period. Nobody. He wouldn't be a household name. He wouldn't be a multimillionaire. He wouldn't have put Bellator on the map. It would have been just another fighter. I really think that, and I really do believe that. And Connor's a very, very special fighter. Um, and I was going to I don't know if I, I, I made that point before I finished saying that. If he beats Khabib um, after this much time off, I will, without a doubt, say he's number one pound for pound in, in my book. Number one pound for pound. Uh, Ten hours time off. 
Unbelievable. For sure. But Absolutely. Listen, without digressing. Listen, you can't deny that. If, if he comes back, because we are digressing, but if Connor does beat Khabib, and it's a big if, because, of course, Khabib is undefeated, 26-0, and 0, defeats his opponents very dominantly, and has a bad style for Connor. On the flip side, though, Connor's got a bad style for Khabib. If Khabib can't get Connor to the floor, Khabib's fucked because yeah, he can't stand with Connor. Arms. We've seen, we've seen it time and time again. He can't stand with Connor. Connor is a superior striker. Connor is fast, fluent, powerful, agile, great footwork. He's a great athlete. He's a fantastic fighter on the feet. It's it's one way traffic. In the grappling, it's one way traffic from the other person. If Connor can beat him, yep, I agree. Um, all right, guys, I want to tell you about our new sponsor, CBD MD. We've been talking about CBD for a little bit now, but if you aren't familiar, CBD is a natural product found in hemp plants that research shows helps keep your body in homeostasis. Now, what is homeostasis? Well, it's the proper regulation of things like internal body temperature, digestive function, immune system function, hormone levels, etc., etc. CBD helps with all of that, helps with inflammation. Hopefully, it helps with a sore throat. We're yet to find out, but uh, hopefully it does. <laughs> so CBD, as you can imagine, the highest quality CBD guaranteed, 100% grown in the USA, and the best prices per milligram. I recommend the CBD MD topical cream, which are the best CBD products I've ever used. Mm. The Icy Hot or the BioFree CBD MD, they have a pain relief gel, which is called Freeze. Super easy to apply. Obviously, it comes in a roll on. You can do it sitting here. You don't have to get it on your hands. Uh, really, really works. I talk about it all the time. It enables me to run on a daily basis. I've been running every single day, and it's ever since I've started using CBD MD. So, uh, check it out. Lewis, have you tried any of the products? Yeah, dude. I I was living off this stuff during my training um, because I'm still all bumped up and bruised up. So the BioFreeze, it's just, it goes under your hand or my hand anyway, or your joints or whatever it is that's hurting. And it just feels nice and cool. It goes into the muscles really nicely. I know we're supposed to talk about this stuff. This is an ad. We're supposed to get paid to talk about this stuff. Here's the thing. Go do some research independently. Do a Google search. See if you have some sort of affliction that CBD can help with. I guarantee you right now, look it up. This is like the new miracle drug. Doctors, personal trainers, physical therapists, everyone in the world that is involved in the world of medicine is recommending you use CBD. And don't just take our word for it. Just do a simple Google search as well. It really helped me a lot with a lot of the bumps and bruises I had during training. Could help you as well. The best part of all of this, Michael Bisping, we're giving him a huge discount, 20% off with the promo code BYM20. CBDMD.com. That is promo code BYM20. You get 20% off. This is a pretty amazing deal. CBD can be a little bit pricey sometimes so to save 20% off if you're already purchasing it or thinking about trying it out. This is a great deal. So we recommend it. And it helps out the show, which is the best part of all. Yeah, no, of course, 20% off promo code BYM20. But, you know, the UFC is in control here. And that's why you've got all these people, celebrities now, Obviously, Floyd Mayweather wants to come over. And now we've got that little fucktard, Logan Paul. <laughs> he wants to come over to the UFC as well. I mean, of course, we spoke about it a little bit. KSI and Logan Paul had that boxing match a couple of weeks ago now. And uh, it was a draw, which is uh, disappointing for everybody that watched it. And it's disappointing for everybody listening to my voice. So once again, I apologize. Um, but 800,000 people bought the pay-per-view did you know that i didn't know how many people bought the pay-per-view um i'm watching it now it's now officially available for free on youtube um you know i i'm, I'm probably, probably it's around two of six right now they look look they, they're big yeah don't watch it don't I'm watch all, it you i'm, all, I'm just watching the highlights in the background here it's very disrespectful i'm trying to talk to you the whole time and you're like you're talking well, to Harris and you're asking for coffees you're watching a boxing match for fucking crying out loud Jesus Christ, can we focus on... You know what I'm doing? I'm drinking coffee and looking at you the whole time. Tea and You're honey. not, okay? Honey and lemon. Asking for honey and lemon nonstop. Becoming, I, I, becoming I an American it. citizen. What are you talking about? There's a lot going on in that household. There's a lot going on right now. Uh, fact, yeah, I, so listen, just the take best joke I've ever made on the show, you completely missed because you were texting your wife. Fuck you. It was a terrible joke. It was pretty good, in my opinion. You know what? Daryl, Daryl Till, calling him Daryl instead of Darren. It was the timing, you know. It, it was really good timing. You really had to be there, but you weren't there, and that's wow. the point. I that's weren't the there. Point. I weren't there. 
Right, um, so yeah, look, so anyway, Logan Paul's listen, trying to call Logan for a UFC Paul's- fight. But it's not crazy because he fucking UFC gave what's his fuck face uh, a fight, CM Punk. You know, they're not against necessarily these big money fights. 800 paper, 800,000 pay-per-view buys for two guys to throw on some boxing gloves and headgear. They're not at Hold on. But 800,000 pay-per-view buys at, I believe, £7.50. 10 bucks. Seven, seven pound fifty, ten bucks, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's a far cry from ten dollars to sixty dollars. So out of that eight hundred thousand, how many are going to watch him if they have to pay sixty dollars? And how many of them are going to watch if KSI is not involved? Because obviously he was part of the draw as well. He has like twenty five million YouTube subscribers. Of course, the UFC, as you said, they're not against doing that type of thing. CM Punk, prime example. Didn't really pay off either because the pay-per-view figures for that last fight, I forget which one it was, Whitaker Romero 2, they weren't that great. It was like 300,000, something like that. Excuse me. Um, But I just find it ridiculous now that anyone, if you've got a little bit of fame, you've got a little bit of a following, and I understand it from a business perspective. From a business perspective for the UFC, it makes sense. But unless you want to totally down grade the product you want to water it down and just let fucking anyone come in because they've got a big youtube following and fight in the ufc i think ultimately that does more harm to the ufc than good yeah i agree i I don't really want to see it at all but you know is it that crazy can something like that happen i know uh, sage northcutt responded he actually said you can catch these hands because uh logan paul was like which ufc fighter or celebrity wants to catch these hands in the ufc um and it's like, you know, I don't even know if Sage should have responded or given it anything. I mean, first of all, I can't tell the difference between the two of them. I, I saw a picture of Sage and Logan Paul, the same fucking dude. They, they look very, very similar. Uh, although Logan Paul does like to swear, where Sage Northcutt, as we all know, is very, very PG, which is nice. I'm not knocking him for that. God bless him. Good for him. Um yeah, I just I, don't want to see. I don't want to see. I don't want to see Logan Paul. I don't want to see anybody that's at zero. Oh my god! Oh my god! They are like the same person. They look exactly alike. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah I'm I, in shock. I mean, look. Here's the thing. There's no that. All you're gonna do is throw Paige Van Zandt in there and the Karate Hottie, and that's it on the same it. card. And I'm never watching UFC ever again. We got a fucking new YouTube channel. Five million subscribers. Jesus Boom. Christ. How many subscribers does Logan Paul have on YouTube? Let's take a look. Know, look it up. How many does he have? Because we've only got 11,000 on BYM. So we're talking shit about Logan Paul, but he's doing something, right? Yeah, obviously. Look, he's a handsome guy. 18 million. 18 million. What does he do? I don't understand what I, any of these million. people do. Are they gamers that turn into YouTubers? They they vlog. They vlog. They just kind of show what they do. Well, I'm starting to fucking vlog. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm a professional vlogger now. <laughs> you know what I mean? What can I vlog? Bro. If I'm gonna be a I'm vlogging, what am I gonna vlog? Also oh, today, I'm gonna sort of throw it, and I'm gonna have honey and lemon. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. Put a little honey in, little lemon. Mm. Hold on, you're literally just describing our first opening segment on the podcast.